All right, guys, I'm going to start a series on AI plus media buying. Okay? And listen, the goal will be that through the implementation of AI, we'll be able to increase efficiency in the overall system throughput, allowing us to ultimately, well, take decisions faster. You know, like for anyone who's using ads to get clients, whether you run a coaching business, marketing agency, whether you run an e-commerce store, you just want to learn this for yourself and to increase the overall fulfillment capacity, okay? And that's going to be specifically made for the people who watch my channel, like the agencies or the media buyers, so that you can actually do more work for your clients. And listen, guys, I just want to start off by saying that most people see AI as a replacement for human capital, okay? If I can be transparent up to a certain point, it actually is. But like anything in life, when new technologies are introduced, new human skills need to be introduced also to actually maintain the technologies that arrive to the marketplace, okay? And there is this economist called Henry Hazlitt who talks about this on his book, Introduction to Economy. And listen, at the end of the day, machines or AI still needs to be managed, like I was just saying. And the goal with this is to explain and understand different ways to leverage AI in your paid ads plus lead generation efforts, okay? So what I'll be covering in the following videos is going to be, number one, a step-by-step -step AI customer slash market research protocol. Then we're going to cover how to generate scroll stopping headlines and creative according to step one. So we're going to do some strategic prompting, Okay, I'm also going to show you how to do critical hits through AI copy. And at the end, we're also going to start talking about how to scale paid ads, turning one winning angle into 10 plus ad angles, okay, or winning variations, make sense? And of course, like I was just saying, I want to start off by talking about the AI prompts that we can use to identify customer pain points and make that our ads speak directly to our avatar. And I have a separate video on the channel where I talk about how to do your market research so that you can come up with a unique offer and a unique a solution to the marketplace, aka what your business stands for. But that video is more about your offer and about your ultimate, you know, unit as a business. This video is going to be specifically about the actual targeting and the pain points that we're going to leverage for our paid advertising. Okay, so that's the biggest difference between two, these two videos. If, you're going, if you want to see how you can um, come up with a unique solution and offer, go and watch the other one. This one is going to be specifically about Facebook and Instagram ads. Make sense? So important guys, AI or ChatGPT is not going to be a replacement for experience, okay? And the best feedback will always come from your sales calls and your client results, like what they say, what they actually communicate and share with you. That's the most important part of everything. Because again, remember, this will be the ones who will move the needle forward when it comes to de developing um, the copy acumen, okay? The accuracy or the technicality, you know, like, like that sauce or that nuance when you write copy on how you actually call about the certain pain points, okay? For example, I work with coaches and agents and I know for an absolute fact that if I say, hey, here's how you can book calls without doing cold album, that's for whatever reason, that's going to attract more people than saying, hey, here's how you can get clients using paid ads. Makes sense? Like even if the idea that I wanted to communicate one call would be the same one, the reality is that the first option is going to hit much harder than the second one. Okay, so that's what I mean by copy acumen or by the accuracy of your copywriting skills. Okay, so in the past, how most people did their market research when it comes to scripting their ads and their, and their copy is that they start to, to do some searches on Google, on Reddit, on Facebook groups, on Answer the Public, forums, etc. Right? And instead, if we can leverage AI to identify the best hits right from the get go, we'll have a much easier time getting leads, clients, and save ad budget in the process if we crack the following. Okay? We need to crack the pain points. Then we need to crack um, the language, like you will see in a second, the desires, and then at the end, we need to crack the objections. And that's what we're going to cover in this video, like I was just saying. You know, if you've been following the channel for a while, whenever I, I drop any of my YouTube videos, I talk about bangers. And the reason why I like to call them bangers is because as bangers, they are supposed to, you know, be good songs that speak directly to you guys as if you were listening to your favorite artists, okay? And that's the goal with these bangers, that they are actually, you know, the best hits that are going to solve certain pain points related to what you guys are struggling with if you run a coaching business or a marketing agency. And this is just an actual example on how I'm making you guys stick with me to, till the five minute mark approximately, and you guys are still interested in what I have to cover. Why? Because I'm able to speak directly to the problems that you're looking to solve. So hopefully that makes sense, okay? And hopefully that's enough proof to, for you guys to know that this actually works. So. We start off with the pain points, okay? And the pain points, the, 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 um, the section of pain points has four subsections, okay? We need to figure out the frustrations, then the insecurities, then the half trites, like I like to call them, and at the end, um, the moment where everything clicks, okay? That's what we need to figure out. And before we continue with the video, guys, make sure to keep this video on the side so that you can start taking action on the meantime. And if you want to get access to this document as well as all of the other documents that I will be sharing related to AI, as well as all of the other documents that I share on my YouTube channel, join my free Facebook group with the link in the description, okay? You're going to get, be able to get access to everything. You just need to click the link. You're going to be sent to the group. 
um, and just answer the membership questions. That's all we need from you, okay? So we gotta first of all test the waters to understand everything high level, okay? And that's what the frustrations are all for, like the, the actual, you know, um, symptoms of the problem. So what you want to ask, and of course I'm going to do the example using um, agency owners since that's what I, who I work with. So we are going to start off by saying, what are the top five daily frustrations and pain points of marketing agency owners starting to get leads and clients predictably, okay? And of course, ChatGPT says, while challenges face, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, inconsistent lead generation, effective client acquisition, demonstrating value and ROI, staying ahead of the industry trends. I am 100% sure that these are actually the frustrations that they have. So it's actually incredible how effective and fast we can get these replies. But once we actually have the high level problems, we need to drill down in their insecurities to understand them now on a personal level a bit more. Not only like in terms of business, like what they struggle with, more like them as the decision maker, how we can actually talk to them directly. That's why I actually um, like to ask simply, okay, what uh, instead of just the top five daily frustrations, I ask what are the top five daily uh, insecurities that they have, okay? And then what they say is doubting in expertise, and this is, I know, a big one for beginners, uh, fear of re rejection, anyone who's getting in sales is going to resonate with this one, comparison with competitors, everyone for the rest of their life who runs a business is going to be struggling with this one, financial insecurity, everyone in their life is going to struggle with this one, and imposter syndrome, everyone who's getting started, I know that this for an absolute fact, is going to speak directly to them, okay? So this is actually super insightful, and of course, make sure to change the niche or whatever, depending on who you're looking to target, but this is actually incredibly insightful. Then we gotta see what they have tried in the past but didn't work to create an innovative sales messaging in the ads and the marketing angles. So listen to what I'm about to say here to ChatGPT so that you can have an idea. We're going to say, okay, cool. Marketing agency owners are starting to get leads and clients predictably have tried lots of different methods and strategies to get clients. But some of the common methods that they have normally tried but failed include, here's the list of things that they have tried that I should actually avoid to talk about in my ads or in my marketing or in my content for that matter, number one. And number two, these are also the, right, the type of stuff that whenever I can, I should be able to explain how our, the things that we do are different, okay? For example, if I'm selling a cold album solution to people who run an agency and they're looking for predictability, according to this, cold calling or cold emailing without personalization doesn't work. So whenever I pitch my offer, I know that for an absolute fact or whenever I run my ads or I create my content, it's not that I will I will say that we don't do cold calls or cold emails. It's just that the reason why cold calls or cold emails haven't worked is because you are not using personalization, for example. Make sense? So that's just how you're going to be able to introduce this to the marketplace. And most importantly, guys, this is something super, super insightful. Make sure that you can communicate or create create a unique, solu a unique solution when you're doing whatever with your marketing because this is what actually allows you to stand up from the marketplace. A couple of weeks ago, I started talking about my lead center funnel, how it's different from just having DM setters, about just having Facebook groups and how it actually has the scalability of BSLs. And guys, we've been getting a whole bunch of people interested in what we have to offer, even if we haven't changed my offer, just by communicating differently what we do for clients. Make sense? So that's super important. And once we're done with this, we then need to find the emotional triggers that allows us to call them out specifically and incite them to take action as soon as possible, aka the moment where everything clicks. Because when you are able to communicate people the right thing at the right time, in at the right situation, like you can actually describe their situation, guys, you're going to make so much money that it's going to be actually disgusting, okay? So what we gotta ask specifically to ChatGPT is, what is the specific moment in their day-to-day -day life where an agency owner would feel like they need to solve their lead generation and client acquisition problem now? And as you can see here, ChatGPT actually gives us an answer of, well, whenever they have a dip in revenue and financial strain, or experiencing client churn, or whenever they have unpredictable lead flow, or competitive pressure or upcoming business expenses, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And here's the thing, guys. We always, when it comes to ChatGPT and whenever we have a lot of information, we always want to have like a North Star that we can base all of our angles to so that we can have clarity in our messaging. So that's what we, what we gotta do whenever we create a, any piece of content or any ad angle or whatever it might be, or any scripts, hook for any video or whatever. We need to ask ChatGPT, Give me just one that's the most common so that I can use that for my advertising hooks. And then you can see here that the most common one is simply the financial strain and revenue decline. And you can see that the hook that it gives me is actually a stop the revenue, revenue roller coaster, skyrocket your income, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? That's actually super, super insightful for us for one reason. Because although I now have a lot of information, more than high numbers, agency owners prefer predictability than high scale and churn, for example. So. What does this mean? At the end of the day, it means that if I was able to call out people on how you can make predictably 10K per month, 
and you can have a, a simple push button that you can use to scale or downscale your business as you actually desire if you want to take a vacation etc here's how you would do it it seems like that angle would, would work much better than simply saying hey here's how you can scale to 20k per month really really fast with sales teams i'm not saying that you that one or the other one is 100 percent better you should always test everything but the point i'm trying to make is that this gives you an idea of where to start off with your actual uh, angles okay and that actually gives us a lot of insights on again on the actual the actual desires and the actual current situation of our clients right or of our prospects now we need to figure out the language that we gotta use so that we can communicate in the I mean, you, you, want, you basically want to grab the market where the market is. You don't want to, you know, create demand or talk about a different way that you, only you and your followers understand. You need to be able to communicate in such a way that cold traffic understands your ideas, okay? So when it comes to the language of your ads or your content, um, we want to ask ChatGPT what is the type of language that a young and driven agency owner, in my case, right, of course, changes to whatever you're doing. For example, you're going after young men who, who want to win a strongman championship and lose fat for whatever reason, change that to whatever your niche is, okay? I simply ask, what is the type of language that a young and driven agency owner who is unhappy with their financial or business situation uses to describe his situation? And you can see th this gives me a lot of insights. And then I simply say, okay, give me 10 phrases that they would say to themselves, like the actual phrases. This is where things start to get magical because now we're able to take all these big ideas or all these big data from the marketplace or from the industry into specific things that an individual is saying to himself meaning that now we can just call out all of these phrases in our ad campaigns or in our content or etc either on the headline or the or the body of the ad or the piece of content okay so and as an example you can simply say assuming that you wanted to grab the example over here of um predictability and fine and st stopping to struggle with finances then you can simply say agency owners here's the missing link important like the missing link to financial predictability and stopping the roller coaster months with your business for example right Th that's just an idea for you how you can call out one thing that makes people want to stop and actually listen up to whatever you're saying okay so that's pretty much it when it comes to the language i now want to talk about the desires because here's when we can start building the actual features and benefit of the product that we want to advertise or that we want to promote with our content our ads etc okay so for example let's say that you start asking ChatGPT something along the lines of hey can you share with me the deepest desires that young agency owners think on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to getting more clients and getting leads. So they gave me all of these things like, oh, they want consistent flow. They want eff effective client acquisition. They want to demonstrate value and ROI. They want effective, uh, efficient time management, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I asked them, okay, be more specific about the deeper desires, like what's driving them to push their business growth more than anything else. So they say financial independence, providing personal and professional worth, creating a lasting legacy, et cetera, et cetera. Here's where the magic comes because now that we're clear on the actual desires and the rationale behind their desires, here's where we can start building the actual features and benefits of the product to be advertised more than the actual product, like the way you advertise the product more than anything else, okay? So you can say, okay, what are the main features and benefits that a consulting offer should have to communicate to make this type of agency owner to want to buy the offer, okay? So that I can literally know what I need to say on the ad, on the piece of content or whatever, or what I need to write in the copy of the ad. And then they are going to say, tailor lead generation strategies. ROI focused marketing approaches, strategies for sustainable growth, etc. Actually, the list is much bigger, but as you can see, I already made this, so I want to just share like the insights. And then this is going to give us literally all we need to say, because now on the ads, we can talk about, okay, so instead of doing all of this other stuff that people just say, run some ads and get some followers, and you don't know if the follower comes from your organic content or from the paid advertising, we actually focus on ROI focused marketing approaches. For example, I'm just taking ChatGPT okay, at face value. And listen, like what it actually means is that the strategies that we em emphasize on have a clear ROI that we can demonstrate in a tangible value for your marketing services. And ultimately this allows you to get some clear proof of the impact of our art marketing campaigns, addressing the desire to demonstrate value and enhancing your client satisfaction. Does that make sense? Boom, people are going to go like, oh shoot man, like, it makes sense, right? So that's like the marketing part. I also want to talk about a big part of marketing that most people neglect. And it is that you can actually pre-handle objections with your content, okay? So this is not like you shouldn't learn objection handling. Like, I believe that that's the most powerful skill you can learn. But the reality, guys, is that if you can pre-handle objections on your content or your marketing, game over, okay? You can literally just ask ChatGPT something like, what are the most common <laughs> objections that people looking to buy a consulting offer uh, would say? So they might say, oh, the cost, skepticism about results, time constraints, fear of change, lack of trust, etc." And then guess what? Now that we have all of that in our retargeting ads, here's what we can do. 
You can just say, hey, can you summarize all of the objection handles into a simple paragraph that I can say on a video? Because now, based on that, I'm able to now pre-handle all of those objections and then finish up with a call to action. Hey, go ahead and book a call with the actual button on the ad. Or if you're posting a, a reel on Instagram, you can say, comment down the word access so that someone on my team can explain how this works specifically for you. So on and so forth. Okay. So guys, this will be it for the first video of the series of AI, but I hope that it was, this one was helpful because now you're able to have all of the knowledge that you need for you to create high converting ads, number one, and number two, um, the right type of content that speaks directly to your clients or to your prospects in a way that not only resonates by, with, with them, but actually makes them excited to buy your stuff, okay? Guys, as always, if this video was helpful, make sure to like it, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts on this. Whenever you're ready, there's a link in the description that is going to essentially allow you to book a call with me or my team. And if you're interested in seeing how we help coaches and agencies on a pay on results basis, go ahead and click, okay? That video is going to show all of our client results. And whenever you feel like, you know, tired of just scrolling and your fingers start to hurt, make sure to book a call. Okay. That's it guys. I hope that this video was helpful and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.